Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host LCGym007, and today we're looking at the Ultimate Timber plugin. Now, this is a really cool and simple plugin which allows you to have trees that act as they would in real life if you were to chop them down. So, all you need is one block beneath the tree, and then the whole thing will come tumbling down. So, there's quite a few things in the config you can change to tweak it and make it better. But in game, there's only one command, forward slash timber toggle. That will turn it on and off if you want to get rid of it for whatever reason. But if we toggle it back on, we can see how it works. So as you can see, I'm currently in creative mode, so it works in both, although you can disable creative if you want. And all I need to do is just one click each tree and they will all come tumbling down. Now the leaves will stay there and decay like normal unless you wanted to turn that off in the config file. So you can really see how quick and easy this would make chopping down the forest and getting supplies. It, that jungle tree came tumbling down very very quick. So it also works for man-made trees so if you were to make a pretty bad and fake tree like this it works as well. So that's a look at what you can do in game with it. Let's head over to the config file and see how we can change things in there. So here we are on the SMP control panel and as you can see there are three YML files. The main one we want to look at is obviously the config but you can change the language if you want. So let's have a look at that to start with. So in here we've got a couple of things, so the prefix we see in chat and then the message we get when we toggle it on and off. Pretty straightforward, you can change that if you want but there's no real need to. But the main thing we want to look at is the configuration.yml, this is where we can make all the different changes. Up at the top we've got the message prefix and then do we want to allow the timber to occur with creative mode, yes or no. And then we've got a milliseconds per place queue, so this is going to tell you how long it will take to destroy blocks per tick. Got to set it between 1 and 50, uh, obviously the higher you set it the more chance that it could cause issues with performance. And then we've got a check period, once again the higher you set this the more laggy it could be, so be really careful when changing these numbers. Then we have the max tree size and once again if you set this to a really large number, if you created the biggest tree in Minecraft and destroyed it, uh, it could obviously crash your server or cause a ton of lag, so don't set that too big. Then we've got the drop chance when timbering, so that's 100% at the moment, but you could change that to 50% or 20, whatever you want. And then this is pretty cool, you've got the durability loss per timbered blocks. So how much durability do you want the person to lose on their axe or whatever item they use when they destroy a tree and it falls down? So then we've got smooth break down here, so if you enable this, this allows only X amount of blocks to be destroyed per tick. So you can set this really low and that way it doesn't get overloaded and try to destroy like a thousand blocks in one tick or something. Scroll down and then we've got the permissions, so only players and OPs with this permission will be able to trigger a timber event. And then we've got a list of items, names, laws and NBT keys that will be able to trigger an event. So obviously sword and pickaxe and normal axes will allow the uh, player to destroy a tree using the timber. But you could obviously add other items to this and any item that contains timber will allow that as well. And then should the leaves be cut as well as obviously all the logs being cut. Now just above it we've got all the worlds, this is pretty important to edit straight away because by default it's just world, world nether and world 2. Obviously my world was not called that, it's got a different name so make sure you change that to whatever world you're using, otherwise it will not work. And then it does support other plugins such as MTMMO which is pretty cool. And there is something down here which will limit forestation, so if you don't want a whole forest to be destroyed really quickly, uh, set this to true and that will prevent that happening as quick. If we head over to the spigot page you can see it was updated from 1.16, hopefully to 1.17 soon. And then this is what it looks like, we obviously saw this in game. And what you can do is obviously turn on smooth break which we saw in the config which reduces the speed and allows your server a little bit of a break rather than destroying it all in a split second. So if you want to download it head over to the spigot page. But if you need a server to host it on check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. But that's it for me, subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.